What's up guys? It's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so guess what? <sighs> yes. Look at this. Oh yes. We got ourselves four badges in the Kanto region. It's pretty awesome. Pretty great. I feel heavy. I feel like a champ. Mm, 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 mm. That's right. Anywho, in this episode, you guys already know what's gonna happen. I am not happy about this. I really am not because, well, crud baskets. It's going to take a long time and we're going to be using a lot of the speed button. And yeah, it's a Route 16, 14, 12, whatever it is. I do not care. Yes, Route 15. Yes. Okay, so let's get it started. Uh, yeah. This, of course, happens to be, in my mind, the most infamous place. Uh, aside from... Well, not really aside from the cycling road. It, it, you guys already know that this place is just, uh, it's just hectic, just mainly because of, you know, there's like about 50 trainers. It feels like 50 trainers, and yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> it's annoying. It really is annoying, and but it is a very, very good spot to actually train your Pokemon and all that stuff. Much better when uh, you're playing Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul or not Heart Gold, Soul Silver, but uh, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green because you do have the rematch, uh, that little rematch button and all that stuff. And well, look at this. Let's battle. I won't lose. So, yes, we're going to be battling a lot of trainers right here. And well, there it is. Level 51 Dark Side. We are so close to evolving it. We're going to keep it as his strongest Pokemon, and, well, he's coming out with an Alakazam, so let's go straight for another Flamethrower. And just like that, we win. Level 49, we win. Okay, so, now you guys got to understand something. There are ledges right here. The only way to go back is through Fly or through Traveling Back, so just keep aware of where you guys are at. And, well, we're going to be training up our Pokemon. I'm going to be rambling on about different things that has been going on in all that crud, because, well, you know... Draven likes his crud. Anywho. Let's see. Yes. It has been, uh, it has been, uh, a fun ride. I'm gonna keep on talking about this because I am still in amazement on, on like, you know, it happening. Um, as many of you guys already noticed, yes, I have finally got myself a merch store. And this is all thanks to you guys, you know, for filling up my subscriber count. And look at this. We found ourselves in a rose ensigns. And, uh... Well, I just want to say, I just want to say thank you guys, really, because, you know, like I said, it wouldn't have happened without you guys, uh, you know, liking my stuff, especially, you know, it, I, I think the turning point happened right at the pandemic. I know it was like a really harsh time, but, you know, with all the time that I had, it gave me, you know, it gave me the ability to just keep on making some walkthroughs and all that stuff, and then thankfully, you know, getting a little bit more educated on what to do on YouTube. It led to this, you know, the Act 3, mainly, um, you know, redoing most of these games with uh, better, like, wait, with just everything better, just just because, you know, hey, you know, you if you do things better, or if you try to go outside the box and all that stuff, and make your YouTube better, uh, YouTube uh, channel a little bit better, then, you know, people will come. I believe, I believe that the quality has gotten better, especially with the intros and all that stuff, so, again, Thank you guys. Thank you guys for, you know, allowing me to achieve this goal right here. And, you know, like I said in the last few episodes, hopefully you guys will help a brother out. You know, purchase some of the merch and all that stuff. I am still trying to work on some some merch that, you know, that, that says, you know, good old Draven, you know? Now, let's see. We are in Route 14. And... Okay, so it looks like to me we can go right here. And I was afraid, I was actually afraid of actually, you know, needing a Pokemon with Cut, but it looks like to me that you can actually battle people here too. So we're going to battle everybody that we see I'm going into, I want to say, shoot, I want to, I want to say going into Lavender Town because that's where we're going. So let's go right ahead, discharge everybody. And just like that, bam, Ditto's coming up. So let's go right ahead and go with Hercules. And go with a close combat just to finish this guy off. And just like that, we win. Now, Ditto is a Pokemon that we want. And, yes, please give me your number. Okay, everybody's getting my number for some reason. Okay, let's see. Is there any trainers? This one right here. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a pretty cool Clefairy. And, well, as you guys can see, we win with Rollout. Pretty cool move. Now, 
I think, yeah, this is actually the place where you can actually get back to where you need to be. So we're going to be swapping out Pokemon and doing all this. Now, another thing that I want to talk about, future walkthroughs. As many of you guys already know, I... Like, hey, well, holy crud. I'm in, wow. Huh. Okay, so we got two Quagsires. This is, uh, this is new. So as many of you guys already noticed, I have been, you know, I've been playing two games at a time. And I know that there are other games that, you know, I could be playing and uh, should be playing. Actually, what the fuck did I just do? Okay. We already know that Quagsire is not, is impermeable to these guys. So let's go with uh, this guy and go with that. And, well, there's a yawn attack. We fell asleep. So let's go straight for a close combat to the weaker of the two. Oh, crap baskets. And there we go. And, well, let's see. We're both asleep. Wasting our time right here. Wow, I get sidetracked so goddamn easy. Okay, so there's one. Extra sensory. There we go. We win. And just like that, we win. Okay, so like I was saying, guys, uh, any games that we've, we've been playing, I know that there's some games that we should be continuing on and all that stuff. Kind of like White 2. I know that I've taken probably a, almost a year off from that game because, you know, I decided to... I guess I decided to, to get at these games, games that I knew of and all that stuff. Um, I want to say that it will come back pretty soon here. I'm just trying to figure out how am I going to present it and all that stuff because obviously, you know, that's a, that's one of the games that we need to finish up and all that crud. It, it, it does fall under the whole uh, Pokemon or the Act 3 that we've been doing and all that stuff. Um, let's see. Let's grab this. And we found ourselves a PP up. Nice. Okay, so we got ourselves an item. I'll be right back with you guys. Gotta heal up the Pokemon. Okay, so we're back, guys. Anywho, like I was saying, any kind of new games that I kind of want to play, that should be playing and all that stuff, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay on top of that, mainly because, well, we found some few episodes that we can redo and all that, or we have already done, it's just we need to, <laughs> we need to post them up and all that stuff, but we do... Like, I am actually planning on uh, continuing uh, continuing on some games that we need to actually continue on on because, well, shoot, it's been a while. Um, now, I kind of want to, I kind of want to put this, uh, put this out there, but let's see, did I mess up right here? Level 52, extra sensory, there we go. And here comes a gold band, so let's go with this, and I kind of want to put this out there here, guys. So... We're almost, like, we're almost done with Pokemon Emerald, and, uh, you know, Pokemon Emerald has quite a few other stuff that we need to do, like the two legendary Pokemon that we've, uh, that we need to take on, you know, Kyogre, Groudon, and all that stuff, and then who else, who else is next, yes, uh, Rayquaza, you know, I opted out from that guy. And uh, we need to get there because there is a little something we need to find right here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and continue and battle more people here because, you know, that's our thing right there. And here we go. Ice Beam Attack for the win. And let's continue on with here. So, like I was saying, we're almost done with Pokemon Emerald. The next thing we're going to be doing is Pokemon Platinum. And who knows, we're probably already doing it as we speak. And... You know, we're, we're trying to get this whole thing done, because as many of you guys already know, Pokemon Platinum is not one of my favorite games. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, it's not my favorite game. Uh, actually, the Sinnoh region in general is not my favorite region at all, because I, I, I want to say it's because it's slow and stuff. The, the whole, like, you know, DS game it was slow. But that's pretty much what it was, that, you know, it's not my favorite region for some odd reason. Now, let's see. I'm going to be talking to this guy. And we're going to be battling. So yeah, next the next walkthrough will be Pokemon Platinum. As many of you guys already know, we're taking a small break from we're taking a small break from like Pokemon Emerald because I am actually I'm actually what was it called? Uh, stocking up on those fi the, those footages and all that stuff. And well, here comes Agility. There's Discharge, and just like that, we win. And yes, let's go ahead and get some more phone numbers because you know we got a lot of friends. And talk to this guy. Hello, just okay. So this is the the photographer, and obviously he's gonna be like taking a picture of us and all that stuff. Now, there is something right here that we should have we should have seen a while back, huh? Never mind. Okay, so let's see. 
Route 13 is right there. So I kind of want to do something. I want to go right there. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So I kind of want to attempt something right here. Now, if you talk to this lady, do you know which is the cutest Pokemon in the world? It's Chansey, of course. I say Chansey, and that's final. I will give you something good if you bring me a Chansey. Now, I think... Now, if I'm not mistaken, guys... Let's see. Chansey, we got the National deck, so we can... Push this down a little bit. Uh, Chansey, Chansey, where the heck are you, girl? Okay, that's a little too far. Let's see. Chansey... Uh, where is Chansey? Can we battle a Chansey? Holy crap, baskets. Uh, okay, so Chansey is a very rare Pokemon, and I believe that it, you can find it right here. So, that's probably what we're going to be doing, is we're going to try and find it off screen or something like that. So, give me just a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so it took a while, but we did it, guys. In rounds one, uh, 13, 14, 15, yes. You have a 1% chance of capturing or finding this Chansey, and trust me, it took me like about... Well, with the speed button, it took me like about, I don't know, I don't even know, guys. It took me quite a while, but we're going to try and attempt to capture this Chansey. That way we can trade that Pokemon trainer for something, and, well, this Chansey is not going to let me capture it, but that was the whole strategy right there because we need a, we need this Pokemon paralyzed. Now, we're going to switch it with Scyther. I'm going to go with a false swipe. Keep it going with false swipes. And, well, let's see. False swipe, we're going to sleep. Double slap. Come on. False swipe. As many of you guys already know, false swipe is a move that can actually... What was it called? Uh, well, it hits the Pokemon and it always leaves it with one HP. And that is the whole thing with this Pokemon. And, well, let's see. You know what? We're hitting it. It's already paralyzed. Let's go right ahead and go with an Ultra Ball right here. And this Pokemon is not going to get captured. So, let's see. We got plenty of false swipes right here. And yes, this Pokemon is still... Come on. Come on. Let's go. And we're getting put to sleep. Come on, wake up. Wakey, wakey, Scyther. Come on. Do it for the bitches. Yeah, and it's going to be a little difficult just trying to hit this Pokemon because, well, it's already... Its accuracy is up there and stuff. Or our accuracy is just messed up. So here we go. Full restore. Yes. Okay, so Minimize has gone down. Let's leer it just a little bit. Okay, we're lowering its leer, and oh, seriously, getting hit by so many uh, god dang. There we go. Get another leer. There we go. Another leer, and we're putting. Uh, we're going back to sleep. So, yeah, we're gonna try and capture this Pokemon because we really want the other Pokemon that you know this trainer wants to give us. And here we go again. Damn it! Okay, come on. And this Pokemon is putting us to sleep. Good God. Come on. Wake up. Damn it. Damn it. This Pokemon is... It just won't... Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with this. You want to be captured. Come on. Come on. You want to be captured. There it is. We caught this Pokemon. Okay, so there you go, guys. We caught ourselves a Chansey. Very rare. 1%, guys. It is 1%. So here is Chansey, the egg Pokemon. It walks carefully to prevent in its egg from uh, from breaking. However, it is extremely fast by running away. Yeah, all those little limbs and yeah, no. So I'll be right back with you guys when we trade this Pokemon for whatever Pokemon this lady wants to give us. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys, with the Chansey. And now, like, funny thing is, if you caught yourself a Chansey, always make sure to know what kind of item it has. Usually it will have, like, an Oval Stone. And if you guys don't know, I think the Oval Stone can evolve... Can evolve it, I think. Hold on. Hold just... Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let's see. Can it evolve it? Or is it the other way around? Let's see, it makes a Pokemon evolve. And no, actually to be... Okay, so it would be it's a pre-evolved form that would evolve. So here we are, talk to this lady. Cutest Pokemon in the world, Chansey of course. And uh, she notices that we have a Chansey. And she's like, what are the chances of seeing this uh, Chansey up close? Take this token as a gratitude and we get ourselves a lucky punch. And yes, getting this lucky punch to a Chansey 
will increase its uh, its chances for critical hits. Isn't that awesome? Now, in the original games, this person right here would trade you a, an Aerodactyl for a Chansey, which is kind of a big letdown because I kind of thought that, you know, we were going to get an Aerodactyl. So, yeah, thanks a lot, lady. Anywho, we're going to stop it right here, guys. I know. It's a, it's a weird episode and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. We're going to be going to the other dreaded routes, which would be like Route 13 and all the way up to Lavender Town. So I'll be back, guys.